Six-year-old Edward Isham is still recovering from ongoing treatment for his leukaemia, but it's fair to say the new therapy called CAR-T has led to his remission. It was that or palliative care, so we are enormously relieved. The family relied on $600,000 in private donations to travel to the United States for the treatment. In Seattle, he had such an increase in his bone marrow and spinal fluid disease before CAR-T that we really didn't think he'd make it back home to Australia. CAR-Ts are an entirely new way of treating patients with cancer and they harness the immune system. It works by drawing blood from the patient, extracting the T-cells, which are the workhorses of the immune system. In the lab, these are genetically altered with chimeric antigen receptors, or CARs, to recognise the cancer cells. They're then grown in the lab. Hundreds of millions of these cells are multiplied and infused back into the patient. We give it as a once-only treatment and then the, the cells stay alive in the body and continue to fight the cancer. At the moment, the treatment is being used around the world for certain types of leukaemia and lymphoma, but its use here is limited to clinical trials. I think that's something that's really desperately needed here in Australia. Doctors and researchers say having this technology available more broadly is one thing, but there needs to be extra resources in our hospitals to care and monitor the patients. This is not as simple as just providing funding for a drug. With the support of the states and territories, we want Australia to be a home for CAR-T treatment. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News.